Hello viewers, we all pray some time or the other and we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others and one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. Let's pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer the Pope's intention for this month. January 2021 May the Lord give us the grace to live in full fellowship with our brothers and sisters of other religions, praying for one another, open to all. Al rezar a Dios siguiendo a Jesús, nos unimos como hermanos con los que rezan siguiendo otras culturas, otras tradiciones y otras creencias. Somos hermanos que oramos. La fraternidad nos lleva a abrirnos al Padre de todos y a ver en el otro un hermano, una hermana, para compartir la vida, para sostenerse mutuamente, para amar, para conocer. La Iglesia valora la acción de Dios y en las demás religiones, sin olvidar que para nosotros cristianos la fuente de la dignidad humana y de la fraternidad está en el Evangelio de Jesucristo. Los creyentes debemos volver a nuestras fuentes y concentrarnos en lo que es esencial, lo que es esencial de nuestra fe, la adoración a Dios y el amor al prójimo. Recemos para que el Señor nos dé la gracia de vivir en plena fraternidad con los hermanos y hermanas de otra religión, y no andar peleando, y rezando unos por otros, abriéndonos a todos. We pray for our Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao. We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the Diocese of Goa and Daman, closer to God. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Grant them the grace to continue to work in the vineyard. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests. Let's now pray for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal, that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire Church. We pray for the Mega Convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. Prayer Lord God, at daybreak, be merciful to us and bless us. Pour out your mercy upon us and restrain us from every evil impulse. Keep guard over our thoughts, words and deeds. Cleanse us from all our iniquities. Cleanse us from all our impurities with your precious blood and give us complete health of mind body and soul.
I just can't trust in my Lord He will never fail Pay heed to our prayer and let the dawn from heaven break upon us. We call with all our hearts, O Lord, hear us. In your love, O Lord, hear me. Give us new life and the joy of living. Our strength and our courage is in you. Lord, strengthen us in faith and in self-confidence. We cry, O Lord, for you are our refuge. We cry, O Lord, for the suffering humanity. Heal the world, O Lord, and save us from sickness, death, and destruction. Remove all kinds of fear from our hearts and give us inner peace and tranquility. Save our youth from all kinds of negativity, depression, and suicidal tendencies. Lord, teach them the art of living. Lord, set the world free from the grip of the deadly virus. Let us breathe in clean air. Bless our families and keep us under the wings of your protection. Bless and purify the world and preserve the beauty of your creation. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth in all those who attend the prayer meetings. Let us keep the following petitions in our prayers. For a person admitted in hospital with serious liver issues. For students in Mangalore tested COVID positive. For a lady in the last stage of cancer. A brother requests prayers for his married sister having a young child, both her kidneys are not functioning. A mother requests prayers for her son having joints and body pain and also for her niece in UK having COVID. For a lady having COVID symptoms. For a girl waiting for her Australian visa. 
for a person in UK looking out for a job. For a youth who underwent a knee fracture operation. A wife requests prayers for her husband who continues to drink and cause problems. For a girl whose first semester exams are going on. For peace in a family. For a man admitted in hospital with liver problem. For a man who is seriously ill. For a mother tested positive for COVID and protection for her children. Let us pray for all those afflicted with COVID-19. Let us pray for colleges, professors and children attending colleges. Let us pray for families who are finding it difficult to make ends meet. Pray also for all your personal intentions. Finally, let us thank the Lord for all the answered prayers. Let us lift up all our intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are not alone. Your brothers and sisters will support you in prayer. If you have a prayer intention, all you need do is to WhatsApp. 800-745-7376 or 992-187-8446 or make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be assured that a committed group of persons will lift your prayer request to the Lord.